So it's time for another trick. This is one of my favorite syrups. I've been making it forever. It's called A&R syrup, which is apples and raisins. And there's just something about mixing those two things together that's like really wonderful. But raisins can be a little bit tricky using them in um, a cocktail syrup. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through how to do that, right? So it says you're gonna use a, about a quarter cup of raisins. And you can use any raisins. You want white raisins, you know, you found some fancy raisins at a store, it's great. But you, what you wanna do with your raisins is you wanna just mash them a little bit. And now you're like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're just pressing this in there, it's not doing anything. You are correct. So this is the trick. Put the raisins in first. Then add your sugar, because your sugar is going to give you that nice coarseness that you're looking for. And then you'll be able to mash open your raisins a little bit better. Don't do this in a Vitamix or a blender or something like that, because what's going to happen is you're going to spill all those little seeds inside, and that's not what you're looking to do. Okay? So you're going to get that in there. See, it's nice and sticky and, and delicious. Um, so you're going to put your apples, your, um, your raisins in there, your sugar. We're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. You can add apples pomegranate, whatever you like. But here is my favorite other little part of this. Apples, raisins, pomegranates, all of it goes so well with beer. And all beers, beers that you like to drink, you know, dark beers, light beers, it's kind of really personal. So today we're gonna use a little um, Pilsner uh, locally here in Washington, D.C. So we're gonna pour that in, about a cup. So basically, you're making a simple syrup with beer. And for all you hop heads out there, something that's super great is using anything with like a nice citra hop to it and just use it in place of water. So if you wanna make a beer syrup, it's just one to one ratio, beer to sugar. And don't leave it too long in your refrigerator, otherwise you'll be making a new version of beer. All right, so now you have um, everything in here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this over a medium heat for about, you know, 15-ish minutes. You're gonna keep stirring. Beer loves to like implode a little bit over on the stove, so stirring is the trick. And by the magic of the camera, you'll be left with this beautiful syrup. Now, I put this in the recipe, but really it's what you need to do. When you strain, you're gonna leave this on your stove and when it comes to room temperature, then you strain this syrup. Leave it covered, room temperature. Don't work with hot syrup. We're not trying to do that this holiday season. So catch me on the other side for the cocktail.